and of Israel. Should never hold thy peace. Once we are penalized, we will never hold our peace. Passed on Babylon walls, preparing the way, preparing the way for the people. Fight the war and cry, Rasta, fight the war and cry. Good morning, some of watching. Dominic, good morning. Good morning, Otua Jumbo. Odadia, TV. Morning, morning, morning. Don't flow. What's up? Nana Ekia Asavia, what's up? Citizen Della, good morning, my brother. That's the fire since the end now. Okay. Uh, let me take you to some of the headlines today. Uh, the Chronicle says that Ejakun Ayariga to square off as bribery probe begins tomorrow. The bribery probe begins tomorrow. Uh, Supreme Court gives AGT to bite. It's very important. Uh, still on the front page of the Chronicle, it says, Queen Mother cries over high teenage pregnancy. The Queen Mother is trying to say that in Quran, who is in the Quran like that? Uh, Daily Guide says, Rage Hospital Boss under fire. Rage Hospital Boss under fire over brand new Land Cruiser. A uh, brand new Land Cruiser, no, a Wahifan Rage Hospital bus is under fire for that one. And this is a story that I am so much happy about. Uh, Daily Graphic, it says that we reduce food imports with planting for food and jobs campaign. We reduce food imports so that the farmers, the local farmers, can make money. We, we eat what we grow instead of importing. Uh, poultry farmers will make money from their from their farms. Uh, leave power peacefully when applause is loudest. That's what uh, President, former President Mahama is saying. That African leaders, when the applause is loudest, leave power peacefully. Uh, I think that is a very good advice. Even though in Koyache, mm, the con the concession speak too long, but he did well. <laughs> this is the news according to me. Uh, MPP supporters protest MMDCs vetting process MPP for Munyabutre. The Bia Baya Kama 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 Munyabutre. And uh, surveyors are calling for a probe into the 40 million vice president residence. Probe it. That's in this. One of the nonsense that I've heard in a very long time. Because there's some the Bible kind. Uh, the, let me see. Let me see. As for the Bola newspapers, I won't, I won't read their headlines. Let me see. Uh, which one is this? Okay, this is uh, Daily Heritage. And it says that IFS holds pre-budget forum. IFS holds. Then MPP cautions supporters over MMDC appointments. MPP for Munya Butre, Bibia Baya Kama Kama Munya Butre. Still on the front page of the statement, it says that Baumia challenges African leaders over technology. Baumia challenges African leaders over technology. The Ghanaian lens, if you do this kind of head and cry, Chesanya. Oh. Ghanaian lens. The lens put with are my people, I like them. For which kind of headlines are these? It says that. Ask Akufuado for missing cars. Are you go to? When did he say that? Uh, people will just select some place. Don't do that. If you are my people, so, uh, don't be doing this kind of headlines. Uh, free SHS ma may fail. Imani, Ghanaian lens. Be a baby. Any no home one or mobile. Office of Chief Imam questions credibility of new Hajj board. Mm, okay, uh, that one is between the Hajj people. Me, I don't know anything about Hajj. Then in front page of the lens says free SHS will not be free. It's not true. It is free. It is not true. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, 
uh, today newspaper today newspaper says that Bimbila Hospital to shut down following chieftaincy dispute. Please, if you people are fighting over who should be chief in Bimbila, don't 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 let it affect sick people. Let the hospital operate so people can go and get healthcare. You don't want your chief chief matter in the hospital. Anyway, let's do small jar Rastafari. Uh, yesterday, I was listening to one of my very good friends. Even though when his government was in power and uh, uh, he was a big man, he was not looking for me. Peter Buama Otokono. Tokono is my very good friend. Though. His government came to power and now he was enjoying. So Tokono was not looking for me, but I still like him. But Tokono is uh, my very good friend. Uh, I, I was listening to Tokono and he was talking about the Ghana at 60. Uh, logo and which company had a contract to do Ghana 60 logo and how much was charged. Otokono, unfortunately, you are very wrong. Uh, anything that you say, the ones that are true, you come and defend it. The ones that are not true, you, you come and talk against it. Everything that you said was wrong. You, you, you got it totally wrong. Ghana 60, I'm putting it on record again. That the people who are on the committee for the first time in the history of this country, people are on, on the committee and they are not taking money. So, if you go to, uh, how do you call it, Auditor General or whoever, and you find, you find out that government paid money to the people who are the 30 people on the Ghana at 60 committee, then you can come back and say, I'm lying. What I'm telling you is that so far as I know, the people who are on the Ghana at 60 committee, nobody is taking money. That is their contribution to Ghana. They are not even taking full allowance. Me, I, I even said that we should give them full allowance. At least people leave their offices and their jobs and come and sit down and come and look for sponsorship for Ghana at 60 and all. At least we should give them some full allowance. But the people said they don't even want full allowance. As I speak to you now, nobody is even receiving full allowance. That is one. Two, the company that you said did the Ghana 60 logo is not true. The company that you are saying, Yaira Deku, you are always being mischievous and that is the only problem that I have with you. You are mentioning people's company, uh, somebody's company's name here right now and I'm telling you that you are very wrong. You have to go and get information from the Secretariat. It's very public. You can go there. You say, Plus, I hope you're good. Remember, you told me about the guy who designed the the logo at Ghana City and charged 25. That is that is that is a lie. I have never told you. The last time that you were in my house, when we were having a a, a live video, it's still on Facebook. Everybody sees. Everybody can go and watch the video again. It is uh, it is a, a, an NDC character where people can just post lies and think that so long as they continue posting, people will believe it. You were here in my house with. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hobson Adoye and Fadi. And then we explained the Ghana 60. And I told you that nobody has received 25,000 for Ghana 60. And he said you can prove. So don't come back on Facebook and tell me that I told you. That is a blatant lie. Now, what it is, is with payment of Ghana 60 logo, is that the person who did the logo, I'm telling everybody, listen. The person who did the logo asked for 5,000. Even that one, Ghana 60 is a Omontiso. He should reduce it. Even that one, they are asking for reduction. So if you come on Facebook and say that you have facts to prove that somebody has paid 25,000 Ghana CDs to somebody for a logo, it is not true. I'm telling you, the Ghana 60 committee is there. Uh, you know the secretariat. The chairman of the committee is there. You can go and check with him. It is a fact. Nobody has paid 25000 for a logo. People go to school to learn graphics. How much they want to charge for a logo is their business. But, but because we are in a new Ghana and people are looking at doing things differently, even the 5000 that the person is asking for, the committee said they can't pay. They don't have money to pay, so the person should reduce it. So they are still talking. Not one Ghana CD has been paid to the person who uh, uh, designed the Ghana at 60, uh, at 60 logo. 
Yaira Deku, you said you know for a fact that some monies have been paid. So if you have evidence to prove, come and tell everybody. This place, no lie lie, it's straight talk. No, no intention, no entro. Dege Craft did not do the Ghana at 60 logo. It is a fact. The Ghana at 60 logo was not done by uh, KT. It is a fact. Just get it right. If you want who did the Ghana 60 logo, go to the committee. You, ha you have every right to, re to, to request for information from them. They will give it to you. They have to give you that information if they, are not, if they don't have anything to hide. So instead of spending all the time just trying to say something that is not true so that eventually it becomes true, this time there is social media. First, you have to go to graphic and also go and write rejoinder and go to GBC and go and say, no, when you come and lie, I'll come here every morning and tell you that you are lying. Ghana 60, 25,000 has not been paid to anybody. Uh, 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 Katie or uh, uh, Degecraft did not do the logo because Degecraft is very much aware that there are two entities. Kweku Dansumisa is on the Ghana at 60 committee board. He's part of the of the committee. Kweku is so smart and intelligent and an and, and MPP person who has gone to school very well and knows that he won't uh, he, he won't get himself involved in anything that conflicts the interest that he's in there. That's if KT goes and he goes and takes the logo for his company, that is conflict of interest. And Kweku is very much aware of that. Everybody has been to MPP, they are ready to run this country. Everybody knows that conflict of interest won't happen there. We are not like NDC people who take contracts and they pass back and give it to themselves. No, that thing went out. It's somebody crowd who did it. It has nothing to do with KT, it has nothing to do with Diggy Craft. And it, you have to put it on record. Don't just come out and come and make noise and try to uh, lie. Because NDC people, this is their trick. When you lie, yeah, it becomes true. This time, that thing won't work. Ghana 60, nobody has paid 25000 Tell everybody. The person who did the logo is charging 5000 The committee said it's too much. It should reduce it. So they are still talking. As we speak, they have not paid even one Ghana CD. They have not paid even one Ghana. That is it for Ghana 60. Today is Valentine's Day. Uh, tonight, I'm going to do a video about a child that I want us to support. We want to show this child love. This child is a child that, uh, that I hear took caustic soda and needs some surgery. So we are going to talk about it tonight uh, with the people that I'm working on this with. And then we'll put some money together and get this small uh, girl to the hospital to do a surgery. Thank you. Uh, let me see who and who are here. Uh, Pius, what's up, Pius? Uh, Adepa Ikuya Brago, what's up? Hajia Alimatu. Hajia Alimatu. Sadia Muhammad, I love your name. God bless you, Apla. God bless you to Hajia. Hajia Alimatu Sadia Muhammad. Hey, that name, when you guy, I am fan too. Uh, let me see. Ofa. Uh, God bless you. Uh, Nana Kwame, good morning. Kwabina Ajemai Kobia. Sylvia Obin, good morning. How are you, my dear? Nana Abna Santua, good morning. Uh, just a few, and then we are going. Henry Ameyao, good morning. Bismarck Ajemai, Obofo Raphael, good morning. K. Amigostin Amwa, so much work to do, bro. Yes, I know, so much work to do. I thought that after campaigning, the whole thing. Uh, Talking, talking, talking will end. Now I see that no, the work has just begun. If you don't talk NDC, they will lie. Yeah. They will lie. They will lie. So now every morning we have to talk. We have to set the record straight. Straight talk Ghana. Same morning. 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 Same morning.